I moved to Los Angeles in 1967. Um, without having a job, I, I came alone because Elise were, had to stay up there, upstairs up north <laughs> with the three children uh, until I could find something that we could, so we, I would look and I'd find a little, little a tiny little room to, to stay in. And I went knocking at doors. I heard the rumor mill that, that they, they were starting with a new talk show on ABC Daytime Network called Dateline Hollywood. Dateline Hollywood, yeah. And uh, with Joanna Barnes and Rona Barrett. And I went to the producer, and he said they were looking for staff, and they heard he was looking for an associate producer. And uh, he, he took he would take the interview. And I says, I can do anything. I can producer, director, and so forth. Uh, but I didn't know what it, what it meant the same thing, and so I went and talked with him. We hit it off between the two of us nicely, and his name was Richard Brill. And uh, he, he said, can you associate with you? Of course I can. Oh, of course I can. I can do all that. And he said he hired me. And so I said, what do you need done here and there? And so I, went, I got it done. So we went to the studio. He had a director already and everything else. We went to the studio, but apparently things didn't go so well in the studio because uh, the director, now here I'm not giving you a name, because it sort of fell in the cracks. He couldn't sort of do it. And that the network was crazed. And, and they uh, said, we got to get a new director in here, and we have two or three hours to get it done. And they went all over the town to find a new director. Nobody could find him. I said, well, give me a shot. Let me do it. He said, no, no, no. I said, I've been a director in school. That doesn't mean anything down here. That's, a, you know, you're, that's just, this is Hollywood. This is not San Francisco. You can't direct down here. I said, give me a shot. <laughs> and they said, well, when they were down to the end, and they, were, they huddled, and they said, well, my God, we only have 30 minutes, so we, we got to let them do it. And, uh, but with no, there's no promises. And I said, so fine. We started, went right through, clean as a whistle. Boom, boom, boom. They were blown away. And I said, thank God I got through that. And so what happened, the network came right over with, with Richard Rowe and says, would you like the job? Okay, <laughs> and they said, but, but, but it got even better. And I said, yes, I'll do that. I had nothing. I was here alone. And uh, I immediately called Elise. Guess what? Come on down. <laughs> and she put the house on the market up there and came on down. And we had no, no, no sales up there, but then she still came down. But, then, but what happened next at that night? The network, ABC Daytime, they said, they made calls without my knowledge. They called William Morris, Ashley Famous, I think it was, it was another one too, Major one, I can remember that name. And they said, you, you, we think you ought to come over and meet this guy. And so they did. <laughs> and I think it was the next day or two, and they said that uh, he might, something might be good. And so I went to lunch with them. They were all really nice guys. They were all smart and really good and young. And, and they were younger than I, even. And, um, and with the third guy, was hungry. He was aggressive. And not only being smart and the rest of it, he, we hit it off and, and he was not shy. I said to myself, that's the guy I want. I want to be the nice guy and let him go for the kill. Let him go make a contract happen and so forth. And we connected and his name is Sandy Warnick. And Sandy, I think it was his first or second client and he is the biggest guy around. And, and we've been together 40 years or something like that, 35 years, some, I don't, I don't even know how to count that anymore, but even to this day, now I've been retired as of this day 18 years, and he, anytime I want to do something, he's there. He'll make deals, and he's uh, with the Brillstein Gray Company, and he's the number one guy around. His clients, Brad Pitt, and it goes on, 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 on the line. So anyhow, that's how we, that helped and then he, we helped put together a team, lawyer, accountant, uh, PR, everybody, and we're still all the closest of friends. And we've all stayed together as a team through all the years that I've been in Los Angeles. And um, without getting into religion, is that the, everybody was Jewish on the team but me, and I was the token goy. And, and we are the closest, we are, are like family members. They are to me and I'm to them. And we have never, all of us, all of our wives, the kids, uh, it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful experience to this day. Dayline Hollywood was one of my first show that when I finally became the director on it, uh, it was the first show. And Rona Barrett was the Hollywood gossip. 
and Joanna Barnes did all the, as an actress, she did the interviews, and it was a Hollywood-based show. It, it, it had all kinds of things uh, between, uh, and there was no entertainment tonight, there were no access Hollywoods and all of that. This was very forerunner in that regard, and it was a daytime strip on ABC Network, originating here at Prospect and Talmadge Studios, uh, which was the ABC Studios, and uh, that's where we did it. And it was, it was a good show. It ran for a while, but, but what's even better is that the art director on that was Romaine Johnson. Well, Romaine Johnson, unbeknownst to me, was also the art director on the Smothers Brothers show. And he went and had Tommy look at the show, this show, because they were looking for a director for the first summer replacement show. In those days, since the Smothers Brothers owned, in the sense, their time slot, that the network asked them to do a replacement show. And so Tommy saw it and said, would you be interested, came over and asked me, would you be interested in directing this summer show? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> and so uh, after, Tom, after Tommy and, and et cetera and his folks and Sandy got together, I got the job.